let us go through the prosecution and inhuman activities done by Myanmar army. This map showing the ethnic minority groups in Burma, like Shin, Kachin, Wa. There is a report from Human Rights Watch saying we are like forgotten people. The Shin people are unsafe in Myanmar. And also there is a report about the people of Kachin, Rohingya, Rakhine, Karen, Kareni, Mon, Shan, everyone having difficult life in Myanmar because of the Myanmar army committing a lot of crimes there to every minority. Many currents still live in Kaya, current state, and they are widely dispersed making political representation more difficult and if they are persecuted by these junta troops. As a result, tens of thousands of Karen, many of whom are Christians, have fled their homes and live abroad. We can see the internal displacement in Karen and the violations of international laws, inter international human rights, and humanitarian laws, the law of war by the Tamado, have been particularly acute in eastern Karen state, which runs along the northeastern border of Thailand. And one woman described it to the Human Rights Watch more than 20 years of Tamado's brutality in Myanmar. And let's see about the Shan, the largest ethnic Burma's minority, numbering estimated 6 million people and we can see the IDP sites in Shan states we can see there is more than 900 internally displaced people's camp in Shan state it is so brutal it is so inhuman military in Myanmar which is Tamado, committing crimes on the people everywhere in every region and state in Myanmar. In August in 2017, there is a statement outlining, outlining the impossible and dire situation that the Shan refugees would face if they returned to Myanmar. It's really important that to understand how this military committing crimes on all ethnic including the Mon, who we taught and are the one of the Burma's oldest ethnic group and to have brought Buddhism to the country. And you can see there is also refugees from Mon, ethnic Mon, continuing to flee Myanmar to Thailand because of the persecution. In Kachin state, we can see there is IDP camp, internally displaced people's camp. In the first place, there shouldn't be any camp for the indigenous people of the land. So they are also receiving a lot of brutal treatments from Myanmar. In the IDP camp in Kachin, we can see there is more than 4,000 total IDP camps in Kachin, more than 4,000. So it's really bad for them, for the people in Myanmar. And about Rohingya, the most persecuted people in this world have suffered from a lot of difficulties in Myanmar. The indigenous people of Myanmar And CRPH have said in 2017 the military ordered ethnic cleansing against the Rohingya people. And throughout the, our history of independence, there has been bloodshed and suffering across our country committed by those that are meant to pr protect our people. The army, the Tamato of Myanmar. 
Pakistan there are too many refugee camps internally displaced people's camp and this is so brutal this is so bad to to say that there is stateless and being the people of the land the indigenous there's total more than 120,000 in IDP camps since before 2016 and Rohingya the most persecuted people in this world and we can see the major ethnic group in Myanmar including Bama, Shan, Karen, Rakhine, Rohingya, Kachin, Shin, Karen, Mon, Wa, Kokain, Chinese. Myanmar officially recognizes 135 ethnic groups but Rohingya have been rendered stateless and stripped of their citizenship. And we can see the land the colors of you know in the names of the ethnic group those and that are the places where all ethnic group living in Myanmar everyone should equally demand their right and protect each other that is the most important things to do as the people of Myanmar as the citizens of Myanmar everyone have the rights to choose their leaders to present the country under a law where everyone including the leaders should and must obey declaration of human rights adopted and proclaimed by the general assembly on the 10th of december 1948 it's very important for all individuals in myanmar to understand for the educated people for the intellectuals to tell the people the villagers everyone about the declaration of human rights and to accept all ethnic minorities including all the citizens in Myanmar and understand the history of 136 ethnic groups in Myanmar For us, it is very important to reject the coup in Myanmar and stand for the people of, of Myanmar and ask for the democracy and stand for democracy for everyone and say equality, talk about the equality and think positively and be strong and determine and make an independent life for everyone equally. and when we think positive about everyone about the human rights equal for everyone our nation the country myanmar would be a successful country and everyone would have equal rights and quality of life in myanmar a better life for everyone in term of economic relations international relations united nations and with international communities and having the passport going around the world traveling having the dignity and respect in all terms of life including building a good education giving a good education to the students giving a good education to the students in Myanmar and developing the country together with everyone standing for rights and richness in our country in Myanmar rather than doing discrimination we should have a law to punish those who discriminate in Myanmar and to ha- give equal rights to everyone in the country and to have the enforcement for taking order and punish those who commit crimes on the civilians on the public on the peoples of Myanmar and the sovereignty and the willingness of the people of Myanmar